to me just says industry. That is heavy duty, isn't it? Inside the safety chamber, a 12 kilowatt laser beam is focused to a precise point on the steel plate, heating it to 900 degrees Celsius, cutting clean through. A three-ton forklift carries the boom's steel side pieces to the next stage of production. where they pass through a super-sized hydraulic press that crashes down with the weight of 40 African elephants. It forms a recessed lip on the plates to help slot them together, along with holes to secure powerful hydraulic rams which will act as the machine's muscles. An astonishing 4,000 separate digger parts pass through the paint plant every week. And each one gets the personal touch. You've got high-tech machines throughout this massive factory and you spray this by hand. We've been doing it for over 30 odd years now. I know this robot's about and we're looking at technology all the time. That's the best coverage we get by the guys themselves doing it. It's a massive 180 metres long. That's even longer than Westminster Abbey. It takes two of the front loader team just 12 and a half minutes to fit the loading arms, using six pivot pins to attach them to the chassis. And now these magnificent machines are starting to look less like racing cars and even more diggerish. But they're clearly missing one very important ingredient, a nice warm cab for the driver to sit in. Got it? Yeah. That way. I can't believe you're letting me do this. <laughs> The windscreen measures 1.4 metres by 1.1. So we lower it down just here? And thankfully, vacuum handles hold it in position. Is that right? That way? Yeah, Is that push on? Push on, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God! That's how it's fitted. Tell me, seriously, why are the back ones massive and the front ones aren't the size? Those dirty great big ones at the back, they're all about driving the machine forward. So that's about traction when they're out in the field, working and digging the holes. The front ones, small wheels, they help with maneuverability, better turning circles. The back wheels weigh a massive 185 kilograms each. Even the smaller front wheels weigh a huge 130 kilograms and the tyre tread is four and a half times deeper than a car's. There are just two very important things still missing from my supersized toy. First, the shovel is bolted onto the front loader and the excavator end gets its finishing touch, the bucket. It weighs in at 150 kilograms, and you can fit more than 350 pints in there. Is that it, Dave? Is that our finished article? Yes, it is, Greg. Our digger complete. And there's one final thing before that machine goes to the customer. We've arranged for you to go and join our testers and have a play on it. What, get in it? Yes, get yeah. in it. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Mate, thank you very much indeed. Scoop it up. Give Look up. at that. Now I've got a bucket of earth. That's it. I'm gonna bring it up, move it left. There I was, a digging his hole, all in the ground, so big and sort of round it was. That's the way. Whoa, whoa, it goes faster than you think. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 
Down a bit, down a bit, throwing it, splash everywhere, and then empty the back. Dumped it. You've done it. Dumped it. That's the place where the O's gonna be.